Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking for Thursday the 24th of October. Before we go any further, I want to give a big thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel, for supporting me and everything you guys do for me. I am so, I can't believe it sometimes, you know, how amazing this whole experience is and I just think I don't always tell you how I feel about that and I just want to let you know that the love I have for doing this is so great. So I wanted to share it all with you and I realise now that I've got, you know, a lot of people out there who want to hear it. So thank you so much. Um, I just want to go through some dates with you. I'm at Merriweather this Sunday, uh, Gypsy Caravan on the 2nd of November. Uh, 9th of November I'm at Bathurst and 23rd of November I'm at Orange. If you're interested in any of those dates, please contact me. That's for people in Australia or in case you're travelling here. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that today. Let's get straight into your reading. Okay, oh, Six of Swords coming out here. So the Six of Swords is a card that talks about moving away from something. Now, it's a little bit different to the Eight of Cups because the Eight of Cups often sort of implies that you're moving away, but you could come back. The Six of Swords is very different. It is moving away. You're not going back here. You're taking what you've learned and you're leaving. It's goodbye, shutting up shop, no more. Um, this is the end of something. Um, something that's taught you a lot of lessons, something that you're taking all of those lessons with you, uh, but you're definitely walking away here. I do have the strength card behind it. So some of you could be walking away from a Leo, but more likely this is you. You know, you've got it going on here. You have learned. You have learned about yourself in this process, which is obviously the intent of a lesson. Um, but you have learned to tame your inner beast. So there's something about this situation that's taking you into a very new time here. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm loving this reading because that means whatever you've learned and whatever you've moved away from, now you can bring in abundance. Now you're understanding how to manifest. You're understanding what's best for you. You're valuing yourself. You understand that you can bring in to the world what you desire. And it's not something that you need to... I mean, you're going to always learn your lessons. But whatever this was in the Six of Swords would have been a fairly tough lesson to learn. And there's your abundance. And we have the Knight of Wands coming in after that. Now, the Knight of Wands... I always say gets a really raw deal because it's the card of Sagittarius, Leo and Aries. Now, this person is extremely passionate, but what you need to know is not always there for the long haul. But maybe that was your lesson to learn about this stuff. So maybe you've been in codependent relationships. Maybe you've had fleeting relationships and you want something more stable. Um, but this person is extremely passionate and there's a possibility that this person that you're about to meet, you're going to walk away from too because you've had all these life lessons now. This is about emotionally moving away from someone though. So as I said to you before with this Eight of Cups and funny how it's come up and I love that the moon's really bright on this card here because not all is known yet. There is some walking away from someone but more likely that you're going to return from that particular situation. Okay, well, not do we only have the Ten of Pentacles, but you also have the Ten of Cups here. So some sort of situation here is bringing around fulfillment with you. Um, it could be fulfillment because you've learned a lesson. It could be fulfillment because you're understanding perhaps where you go wrong. Maybe somebody coming in now at this time is teaching you what you don't want in your life. But there's definitely this feeling here of, Feeling very satisfied, smug, happy with what's happening here. Five of Cups. So sometimes the Five of Cups can mean it disappointment, hanging on to past energies, hanging on to past mistakes. But I have a really strong feeling that this should have come out in the reverse. Now, sometimes when I'm doing the readings, I get the visions of how the card should be. So for me, this Five of Cups is about walking away from what no longer serves you, not being attached to past mistakes, past energies, past loves, whatever it would be. It's about being able to let that go and move forward. This is what is bringing in your abundance here. So whatever situation is being presented to you here, it's almost like it's that last test to see whether you really have learned. And I feel with this Five of Cups, you've definitely learned that. And look at this, you get the fool coming in with a brand new start. 
I really like this. I really like this because it says to me that now you're jumping into life. You're not worried anymore. You know you've got whatever lesson it was. You've got it fixed. You understand what you've been doing wrong. And now you know you won't do that again. So whether this is just about work or was, yeah, equal give and take, radio. So some of you here, it's about relationships, not necessarily um, romantic ones, but relationships where perhaps in the past you've got treated really poorly and there seems to be this additional lesson coming in here for you to actually work out whether this is the same as all the others or whether this is brand new for you because you've learned so many lessons now you have all of this learning all of this ammunition so it's like you're going into the next thing really awake now you're not you don't have your eyes closed any longer you're really aware um, you can't judge a situation by your past, so you can't um, you can't look back at your past and judge the next situation on your pain. So you can't look at a new relationship, a new job, a new situation through your eyes of pain. That's why you have the fool here, because the universe is saying, take a leap of faith, whatever you're moving into now, you need to work out whether it's equal reciprocity or whether you are moving into something that is going to come around again. So it's sort of like you've got this test in front of you and you're now being asked to make up your mind to look at this through brand new eyes, through the eyes of a child. Because there's love being offered here. This is really beautiful. So whether or not you know it yet, if you've been through a really hard time and you've been trying to work out around codependent relationships, narcissism, um, you know, abuse, whatever you've been through in the past, the universe is asking you now to look at this new opportunity with completely open eyes. Um, because it is bringing in this new start in love. And look at this, rebirth. Oh my goodness gracious, what a beautiful reading. Okay, and then we have the King of Swords. So some of you may be dealing with Libra, Gemini or Aquarius here. But it's more than likely for the first time you've got someone who's very open with their heart. So you're dealing with someone perhaps who isn't shut down. Maybe you've been dealing with emotionally shut down people before, emotionally cold people before. This one's not like that. This one's ready to talk. He's a talker. He'll open up to you. She'll open up to you. Whatever it is to you, for you, this is about having open communication, reciprocation. But you need to take a leap of faith. Okay, look at you go. <laughs> so this can represent a water sign, which can mean you are dealing with a water sign, but certainly who's someone who's very open with their emotion. But this is because you are too. So it's like your open heart is reflecting a beacon to them um, and they are following that beacon here. Um, you could be, you know, your intuition's on point. You could know what's happening here. You could be very open to something here. And look, <laughs> wish come true, nine of cups. So there's some sort of being, wish being fulfilled here, but you've got to take this leap of faith. Because at the end of the day, here's you, very down to earth, very sitting nicely in your element. If you're an earth sign, even more so, because you're really, um, you're taking on and embracing the qualities of the Queen of Cups here. So intuition's on point, you're nurturing, you're loving, you're kind, you're all of the things that you truly are in your heart, because you're not carrying this defensive energy here of the Five of Cups and and being able to take a leap of faith. I want to say to you, whatever this situation here, it's bringing in a huge amount of abundance for you. Moving away from what no longer serves you here, taking the lessons with you, understanding what you've done in the past, understanding your dark side here, your shadow side, being able to know that that's part of who you are and that's okay, but you're strong now and you can move forward with those lessons, understanding what you may have got wrong in the past. Not that I'm a great believer in right and wrong. I really believe that, you know, the past has given you those lessons to make you the person you are. So you're bringing in this beautiful abundance here. Somebody's coming in very quickly, though, and there's sort of like this feeling that you're walking away here. But I think you're understanding with this situation that you're walking away from things that do not give you the emotional fulfillment you deserve. So that's really beautiful reading. Wishes coming true here. Having someone who's open and communicating in a very um, a very open way. Understanding what emotionally cold and shut down looks like. And I've thrown all the cards all over the floor. Understanding what you've done in the past has not served you 
perhaps you've always, you know, whether they are personal relationships, friends, whatever, maybe you've always been in relationships where other people have taken advantage of your good nature. Um, and now you're realizing you can do it in a different way and bring in what you want. And look at this. Oh my goodness, universe, you are so amazing. You have the card to co-create here, which is number 40. So there's a brand new opportunity coming in for you if you're waiting on something coming in. Don't be too um, keen to kick it to the curb because you're not sure if it's going to be right again or you're nervous or you're frightened because you know now what to look for. You know now what's good and what's not. You know how to see it. You've done the work. You see it. Okay, so co-create says the essential meanings. It's about creativity, art, inspiration, fruition and manifestation. So the oracle's message is here. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed. Um, I want to read the relationship meaning this morning because I think this is very much about your personal relationships. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You're going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. What a... Amazing reading, people. Thank you for watching.